Hey guys, welcome to Codect. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to scrape websites using an alternative to Beautiful Soup, which is lxml.html. Uh, in my opinion, this library is much easier to use and it's much faster and I just like it a lot more than Beautiful Soup since you can use XPaths. Now to get lxml.html, just go into pip and do, and do pip install lxml.html. That should download lxml.html to your computer and once you have it, you can just continue with this video. As you can see on the screen, I'm currently in Steam, which is the website I'm going to use as a demonstration in this video. And if we scroll down, there is a few games here that I want to grab uh, for the sake of this video. So to begin with, we're just going to grab the first game here and then I'm going to show you guys how to grab all of the games. Now before we start to inspect the HTML of the website, we are going to open up our Python script and just get some basic stuff out of the way. Uh, so we're going to use import request, we're going to use the request library to um, handle the request to actually get the HTML document from the website. And we are going to use lxml.html which you hopefully just installed. Those are the only two libraries that we are going to be using in this video. Now I'm also going to use a session object instead of just a simple request object since it's good practice and I usually do in my videos. So request.session, now we have a session that saves all the cookies and I just really like doing it this way instead of just doing the plain request. Now to get the actual HTML document, we have to make a request to the website and we do that by typing r or any variable name equals s.get which is the session object and then the link to the website that we want to grab. And if you can see I am at the Steam website so I'm gonna, grow, I'm gonna grab the Steam URL and I'm gonna place it inside here and that's really the only thing we need to do in here since we're not posting anything, we're only grabbing, we're only fetching the HTML document from the website. So the only thing we need to do here is use a get request to get the HTML document from Steam. Now the next line of code uh, is that we're going to make use of the LXML library that we imported. So I'm going to name the variable LXML and then you want to type LXML.html from string which will basically load the HTML document that we got up here. So you got to place in the response variable in here and you want to call content on it to make it a string since otherwise you're only going to get the object uh, we want the string for LXML to parse. So now once we have that we uh, can make a new line and now is the time that we go into the browser and actually inspect the element. So if we click on F12, it's going to open up this window. We can select elements and that will show us all of the elements in this website. Now you can also click this select an element button to select the element that you want to scrape. As I said, we're going to start out with just scraping the first uh, game here. So if I click on this, it's going to show me exactly what element contains this text. And as you can see, it's this element here. So if I right click on this and then copy the X path, this is the XPath that I want to use to grab the content of this element. Now I'm going to go into my Python script and then I'm going to do a print statement to actually print this. Uh, so we're going to use lxml.xpath to tell it that we are going to search for this element using xpaths and then three quotes to escape any extra quotes inside the xpath and paste this in here. And that's basically all we need to do to grab the title of the first game. Actually, there's one simple thing we have to do as well, but I'm just going to show you guys what happens if I run this. We are going to get an element object instead of the actual text and that's completely normal. We have to tell um, XPath uh, to use the or actually to retrieve the text, which we do by typing forward slash text and then uh, two parentheses opening and closing. Now if we run this again, we should get the title of the game instead. Now what if we want to grab all of the games in the table? Well, it's pretty much the same thing except that we need to grab it by the, the class instead. So right now we have the ID, we want to get the class. So we're still gonna do lxml.xpath and then three quotes. Uh, but we can actually remove this entire thing. Actually, before I remove it, let me just explain how it works. So as you can see, this XPath starts with two forward slashes, which means that it will not only retrieve one element, but all of the element is fine. And then this asterisk shows that it's going to search for all, uh, all elements, not only like divs or whatever, it's going to search for all elements. And then the ID provides it with the ID we want to search for. 
and this right here it's basically what allowed us to go into the specific title so it goes into the second a the fourth div and the second div to specifically retrieve the first game now this might may be bad practice so i'm going to show you guys how to get all of the games and use that to just you know get the first uh, game out of the list instead now we have the print statement in here to type an xpath we need to find the class that it uses and we can see right here that it uses the tab item name class so we can copy this class and then type as well two forward slashes div or actually why, why did I do that two forward slashes div which means that we're only going to search for divs which are basically what holds the text and then a bracket and then an add symbol and then we have to type class as well as the actual class name now that's basically all we also have just have to type slash text as well to get the text and not the elements and that's all for the extra parts so let me just type three quotes here to close the string and if we run this we should retrieve all of the games on the website as you can see we got all of the games all of the different games on the website and that's uh, because we use the class attribute instead of the id and that we search for all divs and it's going to uh, you know return multiple elements so that's basically how we get all of them let's just let's see if we want to access the first one as we did before then of course this is a list so all we have to do is uh, call the first key of the list and that's basically going to retrieve the first item of the list as you can see here now that's basically all i want to show you guys in this video if you found this video helpful then please leave a like down below and subscribe and don't hesitate to comment down below if you have any questions and i'll make sure to respond to you so that's all for this video